making scones, the great British tea time classic. Everybody loves scones. We actually make three different flavours of scones. We have our chocolate orange, we also do cranberry and white chocolate, and we also have raisins with dark chocolate. In enjoyment their best, it's got to be on the day they're made. So what I tend to do is make a few batches for the morning and it's out on the board, just baked scones. Over here we've got our flour mix with a small amount of sugar, not too much sugar, and some salt. Everybody's got their favourite scone recipe. I played around with it. We get umpteen scones. <laughs> Until we got the right softness of the scone, a little bit crunchy on the outside, a nice soft centre, enough fruitiness and of course just that bit of chocolate running through. We're going to pop in the cold unsalted butter. Two secrets really to making scones. Handle the mixture as little as possible and also keep the mixture as wet as possible and that gives you a lovely moist scone. So that's our buttermilk and here we have our eggs and I'm a bit mad on Madagascan vanilla, <laughs> so what we have in here is some Madagascan vanilla paste. This is a good time to add the orange and chocolate. We've used our own candied oranges, so you've got that real strong local orange scent as well. This is the, can be the downfall of a scone. It's overhandling, too much flour introduced. Now because the scones are full of chocolate and fruit, that also makes the cutting a little bit tricky. We're going to glaze the tops of the scones with a little bit of uh, egg mix. You've got to be a little careful when you do this that it doesn't run down the sides because if it does, it prevents the scones from rising. Ready for the oven. As they're cooling, to avoid them from drying out, the best way is to actually cover them with a cloth. So they cool, but the moisture stays in, they don't dry out. Let's have a look. Not overpowering chocolate, and then you've got that orange as well. The way I serve my scones is with just a little unsalted butter. I taste everything. I have to. I want to know that it's, it's the best. This is the best.